Hi everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and I thought I would do a, something a little bit different and take a look at our friend Sarasota Tim and his earnings from YouTube. Now we're going to be taking a look at a site called ViewStats. This is a site that has been created by Mr. Beast who many of you may know from YouTube. And so I thought it would be interesting to take a look, delve in to see the type of money, subscribers, what's happening with his videos that Sarah Soda Tim has been getting. So let's make me small and let's just go over to the site and take a look because I think you'll be surprised at how much money potentially Sarah Soda Tim has made in the past year. And think about how often he is complaining about spending $11 on a parking spot or not wanting to pay for short-term parking in order to pick up Miss Tammy from the airport and how often he is getting free items from his subscribers, whether that's through people literally meeting him in person and giving him donations or donating points for hotel rooms and so forth. And he also asking for coffee donations in order to pay it forward and so forth. So I find that ViewStats is a little bit more accurate on its analytics as far as views and so forth comparatively to Social Blade. And the amounts of money that you can see him bringing in, I have been led to understand you should probably double that amount of money. So if you see $50, think of it being a hundred. So let's just take a look and see what's been going on. So here we have his channel analytics. Here's Sarasota Tim. I am not found on view stats. My channel is far too small. So if you want to take a look for me, you're not going to find anything. I promise you I went to check I don't have enough analytics for them to uh, be able to give any types of statistics. So here we go. So you can see here's his analytics, and this is just what's happened over the last seven days. So he's had 148,000 views, and that is down 105,000 views over the last seven days. He has had no subscribers, but he has in one week had an estimated revenue of anywhere from 379 to 1.1 thousand. So double that up, okay? So at the top end, Tim in the past week has potentially made $2.2 thousand dollars. And you have to think that he is getting money for his coffee donations as well and asking people, you know, to, to make donations to that so that he can pay it forward. But I wonder how much of this he is paying for because he can't even pay for a parking lot, a hotel room, a meal, anything. So I think our friend Sarasota and his use of YouTube is definitely making this person a lot of money. He then makes you wonder if his potentially supporting any email flooding and so forth to anybody who he describes as a hater is really because he is motivated to keep this channel going. And you'll see that over the past year, it has really taken a nosedive. So that was a seven day view. You can see right here, this has been his top video and we can take a look and see how much money that's potentially made him. So let's just take a look over the last seven days. We can see here, he actually, you know, has come back up because the boycott came to an end. So he had, these were his uh, videos here. He went down um, on the 29th. So that was the day just before the boycott started. And he had 12,000 views approximately. Actually here you can see on the 30th, he had 22. He went down on the 1st to just uh, over 20,000. On the third, he had about 22,000, and then he's come back up again here. Now he's back to 45,000 because people are watching him again. So all of you who don't really like him and just watch him because you find him irritating, you're going to find that you're helping this person make a lot of money. So that's kind of what's happening. So here we go. 
you can see here the different days. Uh, Wednesday, a week ago, he made anywhere just that, just a daily rate. Okay, this is just in a day, in a day, the, the amount of money. So, Thursday, the 21st, he could have made up to $900 almost just in one day. This is the amount of long views. This is where he is now, um, and his channel living. So, views are down, subs aren't, his revenue is even down. So he's down, you know, potentially $1,000. That's over seven days. So I don't think that Tim has seen this much money when he was selling the coupon books. This is why he puts out so many videos. And we'll see how many videos he puts out. Okay, let's look over just the past month, how much has Tim made? Okay, over here, you can see that in 30 days, he's made anything from four to ten and a to eleven thousand dollars in in the space of a month, so just kind of absorb that in because I don't I think a lot of people don't think that he's making less much money, but he's making a lot more money than you realize. And so when you're watching him and you actually don't like him, you are helping Tim become wealthier. And so when he's looking at these very expensive houses, he's you know, probably knows in the back of his mind, he has this money from YouTube. So I'm curious, not paid off as the idea alone. He's got free golf clubs, free clothing, free food, free hotel rooms. And all of this money is being banked probably by Tim. So he is definitely sitting on some money. All right, let's look over the last year because you can see kind of how his views have uh, you know, come in and increase. So here, uh, this was the Father's Day edition. He had uh, 72,000 views. That was on the 16th. So that day on the 16th, um, I would have to go back, but you could probably see the type of money that he would have been making. Um, this was the days before, even on his, you know, here is where he is currently. Um, on the first and second, which is when we ask people not to watch him. And uh, so that's kind of what happened there. His sub count has not moved, though. He, he had 100 gained here, and then he lost 100. So uh, that looks like to me that somebody potentially bought subscribers because there's no way that you would have such an even number there. All right, let's look over the last year, how much money has potentially been made by our good friend Tim. So he had 15.16 million views that had been increased over a 365 day period. His subs in that time went up to just over 31,000, which was an increase. The amount of money that he potentially made, and remember, I found out through other channels that you could probably double the amount of money. So Tim has made anywhere from around $76,000 up to anything up to $214,000 over the year. So it's probably been a lot more profitable. So I wonder why he doesn't talk about his $1,700 social security check, because if he's making this type of money, he is going to have to return that social security. He is definitely making far and above the social security minimum and would have to pay taxes, I believe, on that um, money. So I'm, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on the social security. I am not Dr. Ed Weir, but I understand there are um, caps to this and uh, taxes that would be paid or monies or so forth. So for somebody to say that they're still taking social security and then making this type of income, you have to wonder, you know, why then he potentially wants all these tax write-offs too. I mean, there's something funky going on with Tim as far as uh, probably his social security and the amount of income that he is earning from YouTube. So this is on the low end, okay? This is on the low end. It should be doubled from what I understand. So he's actually, as you can see, he has gained views, uh, but you can see right here, back in his height of his earning seasons in uh, July and August of 23. He was getting a lot of lot of views, like this amount of views, probably just insane amounts of money being made at that point. And then obviously it fell. This is getting towards Christmas. I'm 
not sure if he didn't have videos going on or what happened, but he had a big fall there. He peaked again back in March. Um, and he's slowly coming down. And somehow he's peaked back up again in June. And probably because we started reacting more to him. So people started watching him more. So potentially I've helped Sarasota Tim make more money because we suddenly put eyeballs onto this character. And you can just kind of see again the type of money. This this is very odd, though. This plus and minus 100. That's very strange. That makes me think that subscribers were bought at that time. Let's pop over and just take a look at his current videos. As you can see, he has put out, I want to say, uh, 22 videos over the last uh, four days. Um, so the first, second, third, and fourth so far, 22 videos. Uh, let's take a look at one of his better views, which was probably this one here with him and Tammy is back. So he had uh, just under 6,000 views on here, potentially made anywhere from uh, 18 would be on the low end. So around $36 potentially. Um, it's a little bit better than most of the time of what he's been doing lately. Uh, it's been the better one from him. This is a person who churns out the same type of content constantly. Let's go back to the videos. We can kind of see that he just turns out constantly. Uh, you know, his morning chats, his, what he's eating. Here's a golf game that he and Tammy played. Um, he's here over at the Mysterious Lighthouse. He's in an RV park. And look at the views. Almost over 4,000 views for somebody showing an RV park. Here he is again over at the RV park. Here he is. Good morning, chat. Once again, opportunity at life. Yeah, he wants this opportunity. And this is somebody, Johnny Vegas treats Tammy and I to golf and lunch. I hope Johnny Vegas makes more than 200 some thousand dollars a year, Tim. Because why is he treating you to golf and lunch? When you're bringing in this type of revenue, this is what I find so astounding. This, the Tim and Tammy show, just him driving around, him playing golf. Let's see how much he made just from his golf video that he got treated to. Oh, actually, let's go back. Sorry. Let's go back to the uh, one where Johnny took him to golf. So maybe he made $14 from this video so far, potentially. You know, this is his estimated revenue just on these videos. So double it up over the past few days. So it's astounding to me that somebody who has content as dry as Tim is lack of innovation, the same content, no thumbnails. He's still managing to ride from the social security videos, which potentially still make him money because I'm sure there are people who click onto it. I had somebody make a comment recently to me that they were wanting to see, you know, they couldn't understand why people didn't like Tim. He seemed like a nice, affable, personable individual. And so he's still being able to get that charisma out, that cult of personality, and make a really big amount of money from it. His subscribers have just sat at the same, the 63.3. It puts him in a global ranking of, of, of at uh, number 2,526 on a global subscriber ranking. So it's pretty high up. It's probably the best Tim ever did in life. And this is his total number of views. It's over, it's, it's over 19 million views that this individual has had. This person who uses, in my mind, the Bible to show that he's this good religious person. So you could understand why people trying to highlight Tim and show Tim and why he wouldn't like that. So that's just a little bit about his channelytics. I found that fascinating to see. Um, this is the maximum that he's ever had. You could see here with his uh, uh, views from his subscribers, you know, right here, uh, he's gotten up to this many views, you know, where he just went from absolutely nothing and then he just went up. Once that video with his peak of his um, social security and he started to get seen, it's just gone up and up and up. So it's uh, fascinating to me. And his revenue, all-time revenue. So the amount of money that potentially that Sarasota Tim has made 
from his YouTube channel is anywhere from 50 to $272,000 from YouTube in about the space of, you know, really when he started here in May of 20, June of 2023. So in the past year, this is the estimated revenue that Tim has made. And yet he still has people buying him stuff. He still has potentially lonely, vulnerable individuals sending him money for lidocaine. I hope all the people sending him coffee donations and making all of these have that type of income coming in because I think a lot of them aren't aware as to how much money a YouTube influencer could make. This is why this guy, this guy right here, laughing all the way to the bank. Okay. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a great day. I thought you would find that interesting. If you do want to make a donation to my graduate school, I've left my buy me a coffee. You won't find me on this uh, particular view stats because I'm just a small channel and I really work hard to try to get people to subscribe, to like, to comment. And so I do want to take the time to thank those who have actually uh, help me do that. And first, let me thank this one person because this is what Tim is doing on a daily basis. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? And he dry bags pretty hard every day. And I just dry bagged right there. But at least I honestly will tell you, my, my money goes to my graduate school bills. <laughs> so there you go. And uh, I did want to thank those who do support my channel and uh, help me try to continue to create this content. And so thank you guys so much. There's obviously my folks from The Good Life, I couldn't do without you, and my best five supporters. I really do appreciate you guys. I couldn't do this without you here, and I thank you so much for your support. Thank you, guys. And like I said, if you do like this type of content, you know, make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment down below if you thought Tim made this type of income. All right, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.